Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, Pax Romana. Alright. Um, so, we really have two options here. We can either go after the Byzantine Emperor himself, or we can go after uh, uh, this uh, Norse Conqueror here. Um, now, this guy has a lot of troops... Um, but they're not very close by. They're all the way up here, here, and here. So I might be able to get in and take uh, Abydos first, and then uh, uh, Lesbos. Uh, I would not be able to get around and take either of these, but that might be enough to get me that, um, to take this land back, uh, and then I could become a double duke. Uh, of course, my uh, domain size is absolutely terrible, Yeah, five stewardship. That's not good. Um, what is my brother's? Yeah, it's already an eight. So, the thing that I'm worried about is that'll convert, which would just ruin that. I'd lose the troops. The Byzantine Emperor would uh, um, get his troop count back up. Um... But the other thing is that if I attack the Byzantine Emperor, then that guy has a chance to um, attack me. So, it's not the best of decisions here. Um, I've got a lot of money right now. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of troops. Um, but I could get a, a 50... Uh, 4,500 uh, um, group of mercenaries and I can keep them around a while, especially if I uh, borrow money from the Jews. Um, and I can still faction. Let's see. Am I... I am honest. So I would. he would be able to ask me to leave the faction. But uh, let's do it this way. We are going to see if we can get some other people involved. I wonder if we can invite people to factions. Let's see. Um... I could offer to join the war down here, and he would get... Uh, he would like me more. That might get him to join that. Well, let's see how that goes. Um, I think I might go after this guy first. I'll, I'll see if we can faction for uh, the Imperial title, or just get more power. I... I don't know. Now let's let's try it. Let's let's do this. Let's uh, let's go for it. Depose liege. I don't know if I'll be able to hold it. Let's go ahead and hire these guys. Raise up all of my troops and my uh, levies. Uh, borrow money from the Jews. Alright, we'll uh, get there. He's got uh, 1,600 there. As soon as the mercenaries get in there, then we can move in and attack that that unit. We don't want to let them get away. Because those are his personal troops. Alright, let's go. And then you guys follow in after. Don't have a whole lot of... Uh, Morale just yet. Alright, there we go. Alright, we did crush them. Now... Where are you going? to go into Calliopolis. Let's not besiege just yet. 
Uh, Abydos on the 15th of February. Oh. So I'm kind of thinking that it might be better to like sweep up uh, small units of troops. Twenty seventh. Ugh. Yeah, let's see. All right, that's fine. We'll just uh, merge them together. So distrust between Mayor Gregarios and yeah, that's right. I'm. I don't know that I need to do that. Let's let's not actually do that. Um, improve diplomatic relations with them. All right. Uh, that wasn't quite what I wanted, but oh well. We'll go that way, I guess. Says it's faster. And that is a 900 stack. We're at 7% right now. Haven't taken any territory, but that's okay. 1,000. Bump up speed a bit more. Alright, that's a guy that we want to take out. Where are they going? Alright, 16%. Uh, where are they going? They are going to Nikaya. Okay, that's good. Your experience in matters of war have increased, and there are many things you will do differently in future battles. What will you focus on? So, I can focus on attack and become an aggressive leader. Focus on the defense. Uh, learn to inspire or fo focus on the faint. I only have a six martial skill. Uh, trickster is morale damage plus 10, defense minus 20. Um, inspiring leader is just has no negative, so let's uh, let's do that. Um, are there any other significant army sizes around here? I do not see them. See any? All right, we're at 18%. We might be able to do this with just uh, attacking troops. I wish I knew where some of his other troops were right now. Crush them. He does have some come. Ah, there is some. Let's go up there. Where are you going? Alright, let's go up there and atta attack them if we can. Let's see. October 4th. October 4th. Ah, good. We caught him. Looks like there's some more coming in there. Didn't quite destroy them, but uh, we got a, a duke. Perfect. You were in the thick of battle, and you... Oh, you were in the thick of it during the battle, and your tally of slain enemy soldiers has impressed even the most grizzled sergeants in your army. As you clean the blood splatter off your sword and armor, the men cheer for the bravery you displayed in securing this victory. Songs will be sung of this day. Gained 100 prestige. Nice. Very nice. So they're going to Caliopolis. Let's follow them. And this guy likes me more. Perfect. Perfect. My prisoner is complaining of his dark cell. Um, I can be merciful. We'll put him under house arrest. Alright. Capture. Cap. Caught them. Let's go over there. K. 
Okay, and your experience in Matters of War has increased, and there are many things you will do differently. Let's become an organizer, uh, which probably means that I want to lead. Well, no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> let's not let's not lead. Um, that's just like an all-around bad idea. <laughs> I still have 500 gold. Um, how many troops does he actually have now? 2,000. So the downside of uh, all of this is that this is time that I could have been uh, besieging. Oh, 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 he re-rose, it looks like. Go for it. Take him. I have a river crossing, unfortunately, but I outnumber him tremendously. Looks like he brought he had brought in the uh um No, we want to go that way. Uh the Varangian Guard. Excellent. We do want to chase these guys down. There's enough there that it makes a difference. They're going back up there. Uh, my half-brother asked for a fife his own to govern. I mentioned a church career. Betrothed can marry. That would be me. Excellent. Let's uh, get that, and then we'll try calling him in again. We're at 42%. Fulfilled the ambition to get married. Uh, we can get 35 gold or 100 prestige. I want the prestige right now. All right, and let's uh, try calling them all in again. We can choose an ambition. Yeah, those would not do me much good right now. Um, I don't really want to have a kid just yet. So let's improve stewardship. Uh, they can unfortunately not, uh... Are you trying to call me in? You're trying to call me in. Who are you actually at war with? Denmark in Bohemian Holy War for uh, Mason. How's that actually going for you? It's already in your favor. I, I suppose I could honor that. Yeah, let's just accept that. We won't actually get involved. He has decided not to uh, join my, join me, and he has decided not to join me. Bastard. Uh, let's go there. There, if possible. Dang it. All right, he likes me more. Let's go up there and crush them. Oh. You have decided to go on a conquest for Constantia. That works for me. Yeah, you can uh, take some damage from uh, uh, Bulgaria. Uh, bookkeeping is an unappreciated art, and you have taken it upon yourself to master it. You have gained a clearer picture of the realm's finances, and your stewardship has improved as a result. I could do this all day. Ooh, plus one. Very nice. And I got some more gold. Uh, I've got a child who lacks a guardian. This is of my half-brother. Um, let's see if we can turn him into a warrior, then. Let's see if there's anyone better than uh, Antonio's there. 
Um, Hectorios, I think, would be better. Theodora might not be too bad either. Now we'll go with Hectorios. Alright. Um, now, unfortunately, this is just going to be 2%. What are, his what are his troops at now? It's still at 2,400. This is going to... Alright. He has one. Good. I wonder if we got anything out of that. <laughs> like prestige or anything. Probably not. Uh, arrange marriage from uh, Bulgaria. Zoe, huh? Mm. I am going to have to decline that. I'm not sure if I'd get a, uh, an alliance out of that anyway. Looks like something just popped up while it was auto-saving. Let's see what that might be. Um, I got some technology, okay. Uh, give all the chance, don't care. Is a lot of troops there, but, uh, I think I will try and take this. Steward Count Gregarius has some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. Sure, ten gold. That's fine. Looks like, uh, Bulgaria is gonna go down there and attack that. And he has uh, hired some more mercenaries. Unfortunate. Uh, this is this is uh, that might be bad because that's hills. Okay, he has become Midas touched. Not at, not quite what I had hoped, but could be worse. Um. Now, someone that we want as an ally, I could go for a duchess, but he could leave my uh, county. I could go for a Bohemia again, Princess of England, but I don't think they'd come down. East Francia, Ivana, Princess of Bulgaria, but she's only three. Another princess of England. Uh, get another alliance with uh, Boleslav, but uh, Boleslav, but uh, doesn't look. I don't think that would help much. Uh, none of these uh, alliances would really do me all that much good, honestly. I could go for a um, an alliance with uh, Cilicia. Maybe Thessalonica. They don't look like they're coming out all that good that that great. Hmm. Let's go back up here and take a look at these again. Well, she's quick. She's only seven, though. So it'd be a while. Another alliance with the Bohemian... with Bohemia. But... Was there is always uh, East Francia? Not that they'll come in. 
Princess of Bulgaria, but she's only three. And I'll probably want to go to war. You know, if I become a, a Byzantine Emperor, I'll want to go to war against Bulgaria at some point. Anyway, since they do have some of my land. Hmm. I suppose I could hold off on doing much of anything for, for a little while. Um... If I married him to the duchesses, but they they'd have the duchesses I think would control the kids even if I um landed him. So that's probably not the best option right now. The Countess of Kalkadiki. I still keep going back to that uh Burgundian uh, um, one with the uh, quick. Yeah, let's go for the quick. Alright, uh, how are we doing here? Okay, accepts the suggestion. Who is that? Suyamid Sultanate, what are you doing? Oh. You're attacking the Aegean Islands. How are you getting... Oh, did you get called in by... Uh, Hafsid. Hafsid. Yeah, I got called in by these guys. By Crete. Okay. That explains that. There's 3,000 there. Hopefully we can uh, take the uh, Constantinople soon. Come on, come on. Who is this? Smyrna. Is Smyrna going after? Jeez. Yeah. Did you really lose that many troops? You have lost all of your troops. Wow. Oh, I don't feel too well. Something is wrong with me. I'm burning up with fever. My nose is running and my head feels as if someone is banging something hard against it. Please kill me. Don't die. Well, I mean, if I did die, at least uh, you would inherit. Um, I have no kids for a while, though. All right. Well, that's okay. They're gonna take that one. Um, Serene Doge of Venice has died, and there is now no one who is the king of Venice. Those troublesome peasants, dang it. Hurry up and take this. The fever is gone, I'm alive again! Okay, that works. Yep, I lost Kizikos. It's not my direct holding, so I don't care that much. Come on. Come on. Crusader kings, the very heartlands of Western Christianity, are under siege by infidels. Desperate Christian lords have persuaded His Holiness, Pope Agapetus II, to declare his intention of forging a great and righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of God. This signals a new era of large-scale Christian holy wars, the Crusades. Deus Vault! What fell? Papacy is still held? Was it... Oh! Oh! Well! We got an early trigger because the, uh, um... Umayyads broke into France! Wow! Well... Um... 
So that's something that happened there. <laughs> that's still held by uh, Norse Bretons. Uh, looks like York is... Uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah, Forwick. That's, uh, that's what I renamed York for Anglo-Saxons. <laughs> um, oh, there you are. You are still a Norse. Looks like the, uh, the Welsh are still holding on to uh, that county. They're still holding on to that duchy. Suthriar there. Scotland is... Uh, not doing much. That's um. So that's something that has happened. Uh. <laughs> well. Let's uh. The Knights of Calatrava. The Order of Calatrava is the most recent addition to the Soldiers of the Cross, having just been endorsed in a decree issued by the Catholic Church. These knights take their name from a castle re recovered in Iberia, from the clutches of the Muslim infidels. And they stand ready to combat heathens and defend the pious in the name of any Catholic ruler who is willing to provide for their upkeep. More sheep to the slaughter. Wait, really? That's what we got? And the Teutonic Order. The, the Order of the Brothers of the German House of St. Mary in Jerusalem has been formed, sponsored by the Catholic Church and the Holy Roman Emperor. The, Teut the Teutonic Order, much like the Knights of St. John and the Knights Templar, primarily protect and care for pilgrims to the Holy Land, but will serve any Catholic ruler willing to pay for their upkeep. Being a religious order, they will only fight against heretics and infidels. I have bad feelings about this. And do we get another one? Yes, we do. The Knights of St. John, the Knights Hospitaller. A decree has been issued for me... Uh, confirming the formation of a new religious military order, the Knights of St. John, the knights who have always, who have already protected and cared for sick pilgrims in Jerusalem for some time, now have the full weight of the Catholic Church behind them. Pious Catholic rulers may call on their support in wars against uh, heretics and heathens, but they will not fight those of their own faith. I have bad feelings about this. And the Knights of Santiago. This chivalric order owes its name to Santiago Matamoros, or St. James the Moor Slayer, as he is known in other parts of the world. The Order of Santiago en enjoys the official sponsorship of the Catholic Church, and its knights have all sworn to purge entire realms of heathens and heretics, if so requested by a Catholic ruler. Worrying. Well, <laughs> all four holy orders just spawned at once. That's rather impressive. Hurry up and take Constantinople. Jeez. Uh, let's go ahead and make him disappear. I don't care. The assassins I sent failed. Damn. Hurry up and take Constantinople. Okay. We have taken Constantinople. We could continue on taking more, but I think we need to run down there and uh, take back our holdings because uh, that is... A big, big, big bump in our uh, um, war score. So we'll see you in the next episode as I uh, head down there and uh, take back Kizikos. See you then, everyone.